At the end of this tutorial you would be able to connect your Java user interface with MySQL database, and you will also able to insert data on server like this. In this form, there are three different kind of data types, one is integer second one is string and third one is date. Where you will also able to learn how you can convert Java UTIL date into Java SQL date. So watch this video till end. Have a nice day. Hello friends, once again welcome to the programmers world. In this video I will show you, that how you can connect your application with MySQL database. I think many of you don't know, that MySQL is an open source relational database management system. Its name is a combination of My, the name of co-founder Michael Widenius's daughter, and SQL the abbreviation for Structured Query Language. To understand the entire topic, let's start in NetBeans ID. So, here in NetBeans, I shall create a new project. As you see, I created a new project and name it as, Employees. Now I will design a form to enter the details. I shall give it a name. Employee data. Now, I will design this form to enter employee's data. So, here you can see that, I have designed a simple form, to enter employee's detail. Which contains employee's first name, last name, sex, date of birth and hire date. You can easily desync a form like this. Let's run this. As you can see, that it will not work because we have to do make it functional. So now next thing you have to do, is to install a WAMP server on your system. You can install XAMPP server or WAMP server as per your convenience. There are a lot of tutorials on how to install and run WAMP server. You can search online and easily install WAMP server. And there you will get MySQL server. Then you have to create a database. As here you can see I have already created an employees database. And I have created 6 tables in it. Now I shall connect this employee table with my application form. An employee number will be automatically generated. So let's go back to the NetBeans IDE back. Next task is that you have to download a MySQL connector library, you can easily download it from the internet. And then add it to the CLAS path of your project. After adding it to the class path of your project, you should create a connection class to connect your project with MySQL database. Here is our connection class, which I have already created in my previous tutorial, where I described about connecting our Java application with Microsoft Access database. Similarly I have created this class. 
Creating a separate class for connection purpose is good for your application. Here as you can see I created a connection object and I used get connection method of Derber manager class. This get connection will take three arguments. First one will be the address of the database, second one will be the name of any user of that database and last one is password of that particular database user. And now I will create a method to get connection object. When I will require a connection I will call this method. As you see, our connection class is ready. Now let's start coding to register a new employee. So, double click on the register button to write the code to register an employee. So, here we will create a connection object first. Now, write a query to insert data in employees table. Here you can see we will use prepared statement, which are very helpful in preventing the SQL injection also. So make a habit to use prepared statement to make your application more secure. Here, you can see that next two fields in our update type. In Java there is two kind of date, one is UTIL date which we will get selected from our JDate chooser and the second is SQL date. So we have to convert UTIL date into SQL date, because date selected from JDate chooser will be UTIL date and MySQL does not support UTIL date. So first of all we will extract the UTIL dates which user selects, and then we will convert those dates into Java SQL dates.
before executing update, I will assign an employee ID to And after executing update on success a message should be displayed. Now our coding is finished. Let's run this program. As you see it worked fine. I hope you like this tutorial. To see more videos related to programming of all formats, don't forget to subscribe the programmers world. And in the next video we are bringing you something amazing, about searching technique with joining in SQL query. So please subscribe and, and share this video if you like. Thanks for watching.